Optometry Basics. Learn Optometry in Easy Way. Hello all. Today I will be discussing about the basics of strabismus. Before that we need to know about fusion. Fusion means when we fuse the images formed by the two eyes into a single fused image. That is called the binocular single vision. So fusion has sensory component when there is any awareness retinal disparities in the visual field. Motor component is when we make eye movements to eliminate the retinal disparities and if we cannot maintain the like, uh, like eye movement to maintain fusion, we cannot do the eye movement to maintain fusion, it will cause ocular misalignment. So strabismus basically it has come from the Greek word strabismus that means to look obliquely. What happens basically in a strabismus? Uh, an image is formed by the right eye. The right eye image, left eye image uh, normally fuse into single image, right? So the visual direction of the right eye and the visual direction of the left eye should match. That means the right eye and visual axis and the left eye visual axis should meet at a point where the image will be fused. If there is a misalignment of the visual axis or that means the visual direction does not match between the both eyes, then it will cause strabismus. So it happens due to abnormalities in binocular vision and anomalies of neuromuscular control. So when the eyes are dissociated, strabismus is present basically that means the visual directions of the two eyes does not meet at a point okay so there are three ideal conditions uh, three conditions to remember one we have so latent strabismus and manifest strabismus latin squint means when we have a misdirection of visual axis but we our good muscular control or the muscular control by our extraocular muscles by that I can maintain good fusion. So it is taking time for me but still with the eye movement I can make maintain the good fusion. So that is a latent strabismus when with the eye movement also we cannot maintain the fusion okay with the muscles help eye muscles help also we cannot maintain the fusion that means it is a manifest squint so in uh, latent strabismus there are three conditions that is the orthophoria that is the ideal condition of ocular balance then comes a heterophoria heterophoria that means the esophoria and exophoria so all of us have a small heterophoria Orthophoria only occurs when the eyes are in equilibrium, even when I, one eye is occluded. Uh, then comes a hyperphoria when the deviation is kept latent by the uh, fusional mechanism. Small amounts of hyperphoria is normal. Okay. And uh, heterophoria around 1 to 4 prism of exo, 1 to 2 prism of esophoria and half prism of hyperphoria is also normal. So exo means when the eye goes out, you can see here the eye is rotated about the vertical z axis so that the cornea is rotated nasally. Okay. Uh, so that means the eye from the outside will come towards the nose. Okay. That is the exophoria. Esophoria means the same uh, opposite thing will happen. The eye is towards the nose. So when we cover and uncover or uh, do an alternate cover test from the nasal side, it will move towards the outside. So for exophoria, the eye from outside, it will come in. For esophoria from inside, it will move outside. For hyperphoria, the eye will go above and like this, it is a thing. So, there is another thing called the encyclophoria and the excyclophoria. In encyclophoria, uh, you can see that the right eye, uh, the eye will move nasally. Okay. Uh, it will in a rotation, it will rotate nasally basically. And in excyclo deviation, the eye will rotate on the temporal side. So, if it is a right eye, you can see the eyeball is moving towards the nasal side of the right eye. In encyclo deviation, in excyclo deviation, it is rotating towards the temp 
uh, temporal side of the eyeball. Now let's come to the classification of strabismus. Strabismus can be classified according to the fusion status into foria, intermittent foria and tropia. Foria is the Latin deviation controlled by fusion. Okay, so there is some amount of deviation but our good fusional abilities can control that. So that is called basically foria. Intermittent foria means fusion is there part of the time means sometimes there is fusion and tropia means the manifest deviation exits the control of fusion when the manifest deviation exits the control of fusion means with my good fusional abilities I now cannot control the uh, cannot control my eyes to maintain fusion so that is basically tropia and what is that is a squint like when we see the eyes to be misaligned what we see that is a basically the tropia that is a manifest squint so coming to classification according to the variation of deviation with gaze position Committent and incompetent. In the committent squint, the deviation does not vary with direction, direction of gaze. In incompetent or paralytic squint, deviation vary with direction of gaze. Okay. So, for committent squint, when we are measuring a committent squint, if we are doing a prism bar cover test, we can only do it for the, in, only in the uh, one uh, gaze position itself if we are doing that is enough but for incompetent screen we need to do it on or uh, do the pvct in all the positions of gaze now, coming to classification according to fixation uh, that is alternating that is spontaneous alternation of fixation from one eye to other monocular or non-alternating definite preference fixation with one eye classification according to age of onset congenital and acquired congenital means occurring prior to the age of six months acquired means occurring after the age of six months classification according to the type of deviation horizontal deviation vertical torsional and combined horizontal means the iso and exo vertical means the hyper or the hypo deviation torsional means the in cyclo deviation or the ex cyclo deviation combined means there is a horizontal vertical or torsional combination is there Classification according to distance, near distance relationship, normal AC by A ratio, high AC by A ratio and low AC by A ratio. So normal AC by A ratio deviation same for distance and near, high AC by A ratio, ISO deviation uh, more for near vice versa for EXO, low AC by A ratio in ISO deviation more for distance vice versa for EXO.